A liquid crystal display, also known as an LCD, is a pretty impressive piece of technology. And once you know how it works, it gets even more impressive. Okay, so let's say that we have a 1920 by 1080 pixels monitor, so that is a full HD screen. Now, let's zoom in on an individual pixel on the screen, so there are about 2 million pixels on this monitor, so let's zoom in on one of those 2 million tiny pixels. Now, as you can see, it just looks like a, a little rectangle, and inside the rectangle there are three smaller rectangles, and each one has a different color. There is one red rectangle, there is a green rectangle, and there is a blue rectangle. And these are what we call sub-pixels. So each pixel can be divided into three sub-pixels, a red one, a green one, and a blue one. Now each sub-pixel can have a certain value. The maximum value is 255, the minimum value is 0. Now when we turn off the green sub-pixel, for example, its value becomes 0. But what we can also do is turn it slightly off and make its value 100, so the brightness of the green pixel will then just go down. Now what is so nice about this is by changing the value of the individual sub-pixels we can make any color out there. So by entirely turning off the green sub-pixel we can get this color called magenta. So if we turn off the blue pixel we can get the color that we all know as yellow and so on. So you can create any color that is possible that exists in this universe using these three sub-pixels and by changing their values. Okay, that's nice, but now you probably want to know how a screen actually changes the value of an individual sub-pixel. Okay then. Now it's going to get a little bit more complicated. So this is another schematic drawing, and this is the side view of what's going on behind that green sub-pixel. So all the way at the back, the first thing that we can see is the backlight. And the backlight is basically behind the entire monitor. It's not just behind this little green sub-pixel. There is just a huge light behind the entire screen emitting white light, okay? Now then, the light that is emitted by the backlight goes through a horizontal polarizer. You might wonder what the hell is a horizontal polarizer. It's basically a kind of a filter, and only horizontally polarized light beams can go through the filter. So all the vertically polarized light beams get blocked by this filter. That's something you have to remember. It's very important. The light then goes on, and it goes to the vertical polarizer. Um, the liquid crystals, we'll get to that later on, but the light goes to the vertical polarizer, and now there is a problem, okay? Because the horizontal polarizer just blocked all of the vertical light beams, so there are only horizontal light beams left, and those are all going to be blocked by the vertical polarizer, so no light will eventually reach the green filter, so our green sub-pixel will be black, it will be off. Well, that's because we didn't take a look at those liquid crystals. The only real way to explain what liquid crystals are is it's basically liquid crystals. It's crystals that are actually liquid. Um, and to explain in a very simple way what they actually do is this. So the horizontally polarized light beams go into the liquid crystals and they act kind of like prisms. Not really, but kind of like prisms, and they bend. They bend the horizontal light beams into vertical light beams, which can then pass through the vertical polarizer, because that only allows vertical light beams, and then it can go through the green filter, and the green sub-pixel lights up. Okay, great, but how do we actually turn the green sub-pixel off? How do we make its value become zero? Well, well, the only thing we have to do is charge these transparent electrodes right next to the liquid crystals. When we do that, the electrodes create um, an electromagnetic field which will align the liquid crystals in such a way that they will stop doing their work.
basically. So they stop bending the horizontal light into vertical light, which means the light cannot go through the vertical polarizer anymore, which means no green subpixel lights up, so the value is going to be zero. And if we want this value to be 100, we use a slightly lower voltage to make some liquid crystals still bend the light in the right direction so that only some light goes through the green filter. And that is how the subpixel value can be changed. So let's say that we want to display a 1920 by 1080 pixels image on a screen. That is about 2 million pixels, which means that the video card of the computer is going to send a red value, a green value, and a blue value for all of these 2 million pixels to the monitor, which then all works it out, and then you get this. Well anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.